Greetings guys, it's Irish here. So in this video I thought I would uh, show you uh, a nifty thing with um, with Gentoo. So there are things called overlays which are third-party repositories that you can get more more applications. It's very similar to the AUR and uh, the PPAs system in Ubuntu slash Debian. Um, this one was brought to my attention by Riper, who I've known for several years, and who has uh, also has ran Gentoo for several years. So he let me know uh, something called uh, eSelect repository. So it's a different package. It's very simple to install. So if we open this up, go uh, eSelect repository. So this is very similar that you can, it's very similar to Layman. Layman was the go-to standard to uh, get these uh, overlays onto your system. So once this is installed, if you do have EIX, which is a, a better searching parameter um, than the standard uh, portage, uh, then you would just say EIX remote and then update one. That will update everything and then you can also say add one. Um, once that is done, say if you wanted to install something like Steam. So if we just search for Steam, so if we search for Steam in the general one, as you see, there is no Steam whatsoever. But if we do a EIX-R for remote Steam, then much more pops up. Steam fonts, Steam meta. So say we wanted to do the Steam Meta. There are two versions here. Um, they're actually the same versions, but there are two repos. So if, say you wanted to do it from number seven. You go down here, hit Steam-Overlay, and that's what that is. So to enable it, which I have enabled this already, you would say sudo or do as east excuse me, eselect repository, enable, and then steam-overlay. So this will enable it. Again, I've already enabled that. So now, if you wanted to install it, you would just say, just do the normal thing. So sudo emerge-av steam dash meta now this will come back as it being mask to undo that you would want to add a auto unmask equals yes at the end of this and then this will bring up what you need to do so there's probably going to be a license change and then a bunch of keyword changes so what we're going to do is hit no here really quick because I want to add the Steam fonts also. So this is the, it seems like it doesn't automatically um, do it by default. So now you have to do it this way. So now I'm going to hit yes. So I'm going to go into my Etsy slash portage, go into my uh, package license. Uh, this is how I do it, and I say move underscore. This is pretty much the entire license changes, and then I just say Steam. And now I do the same thing, so I just go back, CD, package, accept keywords, and once again, move underscore. Steam. So now, let's exit out. If we rerun this thing, it's not going to have that. Uh, you may see the package use. Oh, I need to do that one too. Excuse me. I'll hit no. Uh, 
sudo so cd package use move dot underscore here steam so this package obviously has a lot that you need to do but this is a one-time thing so you shouldn't have to do this the entire time so now if we rebuild this thing we will be able to install steam and I won't show you the whole compile it's going to take several okay so it may give you a circular dependency so to solve this we need to change the end curses and get rid of this so what we'll do so I can see this is go to U, which is a alias for my package.use and then we're going to say vim and curses uh, and curses and then minus g p m so we'll put in the whole thing so s y s dash libs save quit now if we rerun this it will include the end curses since we've changed a use flag but there shouldn't be any um, there should be one for the end curses but yeah that's how you install steam on gentoo it's a little probably more steps than a lot a lot of people are willing to take but i wanted just to show you how to use the eselect uh, dash repository and also how to install steam on here uh, i will put a link in the description below to this subreddit it explains the difference between layman and eselect repository and how to do both of them but again syncing all and sync repo will be done for you if you do an eix dash sync so uh, if you guys have any questions or anything else like that just uh, let me know and uh, i will catch you guys in the next video